could be consequential. The reach, a very mild edge for Michael Spinks. Spinks' right hand, which is a disguised right hand, reminds me of that which Jimmy Ellis had when Jimmy was a light heavyweight. As a light heavyweight, Ellis was excellent. As a heavyweight, there you see Michael being exhorted on by brother Leon, who for the moment at least is out of trouble. Ellis never made it big as a heavyweight, but as a light heavyweight, you didn't see his right coming, and that's the way it is with Michael Spinks. But it was the surprise of a stunning left against Marvin Johnson in the fourth round of their March bout in Atlantic City that made one think that he had reached maturity as a fighter. The brothers hug. And Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, who said in the interview that he will go after Michael immediately. The judges who'll be scoring the fight have been around here a long time. Wayne Ford, Chuck Minker, and Lou Tabbitt. I've already told you about Richard Green as the referee. And uh, we will be ready for the referee's instructions in just a second and ready for action in round one. These staring scenes have grown both commonplace and silly and unnecessary. However, that one did not last too long, fortunately. In Michael Spinks's corner will be a very familiar figure, a fellow by the name of Eddie Futch, who has now taken over Larry Holmes. There's Eddie Mustafa Muhammad in his corner, a number of familiar figures and the bell for round one. It is a 19 feet 9 inch ring. It's a good sized ring. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad in the white trunks, Michael Spinks in the dark. They are both counter punches. Muhammad trying to get the left jab working. Very early going of round one. Wariness on the part of the fighters. A minute into the round. Michael Spinks knows all about his opponent's weight problem. Punching. Richard Green tells Michael Spinks. <laughs> Fifty seconds left in round one and counting down. Spinks. By most counts, lost his first three rounds against Marvin Johnson, a slow starter. But in the fourth round, he put Johnson away. Caution to both fighters. very dull. The end of an uneventful first round. Get up. 
this type of boxing figure used to manage Chuck Wepner. And by the time Wepner got finished being beaten up time and again, you would have thought he had fought the most brilliant fight ever fought. Robinman could make any loser a winner. A good exchange there. Michael trying harder now to be aggressive. We're only in the second round, and they're on an eyewitness basis. There's no apparent weakness from the weight problem on the part of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. But it's still so early. Second round action. <laughs> than a minute left in the second round. One good exchange in this round. Good combination there by Mustafa Muhammad. Thus far, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the better boxer. Both being counter punchers, Mustafa Muhammad has shown the ability, it seems to me, to be more aggressive, more effective, more telling in his punching because he works the jab well and can succeed with combinations from time to time. Still, not a fight that has produced a lot of action yet. Round two over and we'll be back. Back live in Las Vegas, round three underway. Al Braverman giving a boxing lesson in this corner to Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, telling him he's using the jab well. Says Sphinx is standing right up there. It's time to work the hook. Mustafa Muhammad is fighting in accordance with what he told us in the pre-fight interview. He has been the more aggressive. Although that kind of clinching is hardly evidence of it by either man. Aggressiveness. Round three. Meantime, I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we'll take a station break. Round three and Michael Spinks. Very slow starter as is his won't in this fight. Richard Green with a discourse. Richard Green, the third man in the ring. Michael has not been able to connect with the right. Not that he's thrown that many, but the few he essayed in the first two rounds missed, as that did right there. Perfect evidence of what I mean. Muhammad defensing it nicely. than a minute left in the third round. For my counts, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad has won the first two rounds and is a clear winner in this round. 
That's personal subjective judgment. Good counter punch right by Eddie Mustafa Muhammad right there. And we'll be back with more of the WBA World Light Heavyweight Championship fight after this word from our local station. Round four. Just before the bell ended the last round, Spinks landed effectively. Probably better than he did earlier in the fight at any time. clinching and Michael Spinks may have been right in his earlier quote. We have both counter punches. It could be a dull fight. Saw Eddie go to the belly with that right. It was lifted up, Richard Green said, but it was with the body attack that he debilitated Marvin Johnson when he won the crown March 31, 1980. It'll be interesting to see if he continues that attack. Once again, WBA light heavyweight championship at stake. Notice how Sphinx keeps missing with that right. Missed again. Coming from a way back. Mustafa Muhammad getting his left jab in. Short that time, but basically making it work. Some wild scrambling there. Michael now working his left jab better than he worked it in the first three rounds. Much better. If he can work that effectively enough to set up the right and score with the right, because he has such tremendous follow-through with the right, he can turn the tide of this battle in a matter of seconds. He's got to prove that he can do it. Less than 40 seconds left and this the fourth round. To the belly with the right by Mustafa Muhammad. Pursuit with the left, but missed. There the quick left. A lot of holding, clinching. back for round five. It's been a fight with a lot of clinching, a lot of holding, not a lot of good, clean punching. Problem in just telling Mustafa Muhammad, don't stalk him without working your jab. You've stopped working your jab. Spinks had a better round than round four, using his left for the first time with some degree of effectiveness than in the prior three rounds. Both fighters predicted knockouts of the other, but so far, no good, hard, clean punches to rock either opponent. Now Michael is trying to get leverage. Richard Green breaks them up. Majority of the blows. Hard to tell if Mustafa Muhammad is beginning to weaken. This 
This is a man who's lost 26 and three quarter pounds in the last five weeks. He had fought as a heavyweight. He just got in a good jab, doubled with a jab to the belly. And they're a good right against Michael. So he's not looking tired now. This is a good sally by Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. And the inevitable clinch. this round vigorously it appeared Mustafa Muhammad might be tiring the heat has been intense here but then suddenly a rally by Mustafa Muhammad it's been over 100 degrees outside and inside in this crowded arena human bodies have taken away the impact of the air conditioning Uppercut there by Mustafa Muhammad as we come to the end of round five. Ringside Las Vegas, Nevada, WBA World Light Heavyweight Championship at stake. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the champion, defending in the white trunks. Michael Spinks in the dark trunks, the challenger, unbeaten up to this point. But, in my personal scoring, trailing to Eddie Mustafa Muhammad in the scoring up till now. For a brief instant in round five, this is round six, it appeared that Mustafa Muhammad either hurt or startled Michael Spinks. His mouth was agape. And a good right had been scored by Mustafa Muhammad. Eddie has been, on balance, the better boxer with an ability to work the jab more consistently than the opponent. He is also used, to some degree, a body attack. See, Eddie worked the jab. Notable in this fight has been the inability of Michael Spinks to score with his right. He has missed again and again and again. the pattern of this fight. Very few clean, sharp punches. Lots of clinching and holding. And what consistency of boxing skill has been shown has been shown primarily by Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. In my view. seconds left in round six. Good left by Sphinx after a good right to the midsection by Muhammad. We've told you repeatedly how the body attack can debilitate an opponent with the accumulated fatigue that it causes and weakness that it causes. At the end of this round, we are going for a British Open update to our colleague Jim Lampley in the studio. Again, we're back live in Las Vegas, Nevada at ringside. WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World at stake. Mustafa Muhammad, white trunks, Mike Sphinx, dark trunks. This is the seventh round. Somewhere within me, I have the feeling that Mustafa Muhammad must 
begin to feel fatigue. All of the poundage lost in the last five weeks. The trouble with making the weight last night. But so far, he has been the superior boxer. And he is ahead on points, in my view. Safe. Spinks was over the head of Mustafa Muhammad, and notice right there, doubling and tripling on the jab by Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. So what evidence of boxing skills there has been, has been largely with the champion. Seventh round action, and again, Richard Green breaks them up, and Caution Spinks running to the far head about Buddy. Again, missing with the right. Tried the right lead and missed again. Less than a minute in round seven. A good right scored by Mustafa Muhammad. The left attempt to the belly, picked off by Sphinx's right arm, as was the second attempt to the belly. Right gun into the left side of Sphinx's head. Very effective. Michael tries to go to the stomach. Eddie covered well. Less than 20 seconds left in round seven. Saad Muhammad, the WBC World Light Heavyweight Champion. It's almost as if he's working the corner of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. I told you earlier the story of how Saad Muhammad got Mustafa Muhammad out of bed when Mustafa Muhammad didn't even want to go ahead with the fight. He hadn't been able to make the weight two hours with Saad Muhammad and he made the weight. So far, no ill effects seen. Mustafa Muhammad claimed that Sphinx hit with an open glove. This is eighth round action. The WBA worldwide heavyweight title at stake. Sphinx has been a clear cut disappointment thus far. Oh, he got in a good rocking left. That hurt Eddie Mustafa Muhammad there. A rocking left. And wild with a left and wild with a right. Not disciplining his blows. Trying to come with the uppercut now. First the left and then the right. But for the first time in this fight, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad was hurt. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round we will have a station break. We see the time counting down in round eight. And Spinks getting in suddenly to left again and again. Michael Spinks' best round. Getting the left in there and snapping the head back of Mustafa Muhammad. Matthew Saad Muhammad and Mustafa Muhammad's corner exhorting his brother from the nation of Israel. Of, of Islam, forgive me. Of Israel on my mind for other reasons. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad trying to come back now, trying to get his boxing basics back in order. He was 
hurt early in this round for the jolting left. There, look at that left come in for the first time in this fight. Michael Spinks fighting the way I have seen him fight in the recent years. Mustafa Muhammad fighting back. Mustafa Muhammad's right eye, swollen, half closed. We'll be back with more of the WBA Worldwide Heavyweight Championship fight after this word from our local station. We've had the bell. We're back live for the start of round nine. Suddenly, for whatever reason, Michael Spinks was on to see in his corner. The right eye, if we can get a close-up shot of it, so much the better of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad completely closed. Suddenly, in the eighth round, a sharp change of tide in the affairs of these two men. Look at Sphinx. He is now totally the aggressor. Mustafa Muhammad appears fatigued. The left keeps getting in. Mustafa Muhammad was hurt. swollen almost completely shut. Sphinx has a one-eyed fighter as an opponent now. This all began, this all turned in round number eight. This is round number nine. Matthew Saad Muhammad in Eddie Mustafa Muhammad's corner, screaming, stick him, Eddie, stick him. But Eddie is tired now. He is keeping the gloves up, trying to protect, but he is not able to mount an offense. And the aggression is coming solely from Michael Spinks. thus far in the fight. Mustafa Muhammad built up what seemed a comfortable enough lead with his boxing in the early round. But in the eighth round, it was all Michael Spinks. And here in the ninth round, a tired Mustafa Muhammad is just trying to hang in there. Look at that right eye. Spinks keeps getting the left into it now. More often than not. That's it, stick Eddie, they're screaming in Mustafa Muhammad's corner. We're coming close to the end of round nine. Mustafa Muhammad trying to protect. We're going to go to Mustafa Muhammad's corner at the end of this round. The end of the round, and we follow the champion to his corner. Al Braverman just hitting him on the butt. Now, keep your eyes focused on the champion, especially for the right eye if we get the opportunity. There it is. He is now, in effect, a one-eyed fighter, no question about it. The ice pack placed over the arc. Well, Al Braverman, with some of the salty language, that is the mark of pugilism. You're on top, he told him, and in terms of points, he probably still is. But clearly, Michael Sphinx has dominated the last two rounds, and he won at least one round earlier by my precept. The fight tightens up, and the question is, Mustafa Muhammad's stamina and ability to mount a counterattack, because we've got a long way to go in this fight. And it's not the words of Al Braverman that will win it. It's the legs and the fist and the mind of Mustafa Muhammad and 
maybe above all, the right eye and the ability to keep enough vision to not only survive, but to win. Round 10. We are live in Las Vegas, Nevada. A good right by Spence, and then a left, and then a right. And Mustafa Muhammad looking over to Matthew Saad Muhammad, who is standing in the corner and exhorting him. But Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is in deep trouble. Notice how he tries to cover, almost peekaboo fashion in the manner of an earlier day Floyd Patterson. He cannot answer. Richard Green separates them. At this point in time, it is a tired fighter, a fighter on the verge of going. And Spinks seems to have retained his power and seems without fatigue. Right there, they clinch and hold. Spinks takes a mild rest. This is 10th round action. Round more than half over. Notice the way Eddie keeps trying to protect that eye. Up in front of the face. Spinks, however, keeps getting the left in there now. The head jolted back by one left, and then a score with another, and another, and another. And now Spinks is a totally confident fighter, knows he's in control, and he's looking to set the champion up for the kill. Matthew Saad Muhammad keeps saying, jab him, jab him, jab him. But Mustafa Muhammad is no longer capable. Down to the belly with the right went Michael Spink. Not that far from the end of round 10. Nevada round 11 between rounds in Mustafa Muhammad's corner they were saying Eddie's tired Eddie's tired Al Brockman said don't tell me he's tired listen to me do you understand me you've got to take the fight to him now well Eddie would like to do that the spirit may be willing he showed that in the last 15 seconds of round 10 but the body is now weak and the vision is blurred the right eye virtually useless his right good left there by Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. This guy's got courage. There is absolutely no quit in him. Now trying to work the left again. Brotherman's exhortations may have had an effect. Sam, back to the boxing basics. Working the left jab. Michael Spinks must, for his part, discipline himself. Stay after the opponent. Make those punches count. Land them. Make them tell. round than in the last three. This is round 11, the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World at Stake. Round now more than half over. And now Michael Spinks appears a little tired. He's been throwing a lot of punches the last three rounds. Safa Muhammad had a good left in there. Spinks looking for the knockout. Trying to work the uppercut. A good right by Spinks. the prior 
last three rounds, trying to get some rest for himself, perhaps, but at the same time, wanting oh so desperately. Again, the wild right over the head. That takes missing like that takes as much or more out of you than landing, believe me. This was not a functional round for Michael Spink. He did not capitalize the way it appeared he should have and would have after the prior three rounds. The end of the round. We're back live, Las Vegas, Nevada, ringside. Suddenly, it's become, after rounds of boredom and action fight, though now the Warriors are tired. This is round 12, the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World at stake. Michael Spink, black drunk, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the white drunk. The tide of battle turned for Michael Spinks in the eighth round. In the eighth, ninth, and tenth, he gave it to Mustafa Muhammad. It appeared he might knock him out. Somehow, drawing upon inner reserve, and because Spinks himself had tired in the 11th round, Spinks did not dominate. But what had been an apparently comfortable lead in the early rounds for Mustafa Muhammad based upon his boxing ability, as both fighters are cautioned by referee Richard Green, has become a closer fight. How close remains to be seen. All scoring, of course, scoring in boxing, the most subjective exercise in American sport or international sport. That's it, the right. He did not see that right. That's the disguised right. I don't know if Mustafa Muhammad can get up. What a right. Oh, he is really ready to savage any Mustafa Muhammad now. Look at him go. And Mustafa Muhammad has nothing left. Saud Muhammad next to me is on his feet imploring Mustafa Muhammad to survive. It was the first knockdown of the fight. Richard Green must watch closely. We've had enough damage done in the boxing rings of this country and all over the world for that matter. You don't want a fighter savaged needlessly. Eddie trying to fight back. Saw it in his corner imploring him to. But Michael Spinks is now raking him with blow after blow. It is a brutal thing to see. And Michael Spinks is a devastating puncher. That right that caught Eddie so solidly came from nowhere. And I said I had suspected that somewhere along the way this could happen. Sheer fatigue besetting Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Now, Spinks has all but punched himself out. And the courage, the gameness of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad enables him somehow to keep standing. And he lands a good right. Where he gets the inner resources from, I don't know. This crowd is on its feet. Eddie will survive round 12. Incredibly. All right. Now let's take a look at that right hand. Replay. Two left and then the right, right in there. And he missed with the left. Let's do it from another angle. The right set up by two left. There they were. And that right. Nice and tight on that angle. And that's the right that was spotted by the late Saad Johnson in the Olympic Games and when he was in training. Saad Johnson, who died in the Polish air crash, but who began the teaching and training of Michael Fink as you look at Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. The right eye completely closed. Nothing left now but courage. And Fink with the title there to be taken. A knockdown in the... Twelfth round, and we've got the thirteenth round coming up. There, now, ready with round thirteen. Remember, the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship at stake. Michael Spinks wanting to 
go right at it. Understandably, with the damage that was done in round 12. There's the left again. Eddie trying to protect. Repeatedly now, the left gets in there, and always the target is that right eye. Bowen and close shut. So you've got a fighter with half vision. You've got a fighter with enormous courage, trying somehow to retain his championship. But you've got a fighter who's dead tired, surviving and hard alone. Good left by Fink to the belly and then up to the head twice in a row. The same approach. And Mustafa Muhammad trying from somewhere to come up with a blow himself. He's been able to strike the opponent only occasionally in the last five rounds. Take an exception, round 11, he held together and fought a basically even round. Michael Spinks, black trunks. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the white trunks. Mustafa Muhammad's corner complaining that Spinks was wrestling him with a headlock. I only wish, we don't want to take you away from the action, I only wish we could show you Matthew Saad Muhammad, the WBC light heavyweight tag. I have never seen a man throw himself from the outside into a bout so spiritedly, spiritedly, so imploringly, as he is rooting for his brother from the nation of Islam. This is 13th round action, and it appears that Mustafa Muhammad will survive again. Although there are 30 seconds left. Eddie trying to use the left to some degree. Think the number of punches he's thrown, he's half punched out. We are going to stay between rounds. And somehow, Working there, two left jabs. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad has been indomitable. There is Matthew Saad Muhammad. He's the man I've been telling you about. More perspiration over his face and body than seems imaginable. Look at him standing up to exhort Eddie. Eddie getting instructions from Al Braverman. Braverman now a different man in the corner. A disturbed man. He, being a great veteran of boxing, knows exactly what's happened to his fighter. You just had a quick glimpse of Michael Spinks. And incidentally, in the case of Michael Spinks, who has shown signs of punching fatigue, this is the furthest he has ever gone in a fight in his boxing life. Round 14. Mustafa Muhammad scored, but immediately Spinks came back with two punishing lefts. And now look at him, breaking the opponent. Eddie trying to fight back. You couldn't ask for a greater display of bravery than Eddie Mustafa Muhammad has put on today. We have had one knockdown that occurred in the 12th round. A devastating right by Michael Spinks sent Eddie Mustafa Muhammad to the canvas. They are both tired, and Spinks put the weight of his body on Mustafa Muhammad's body as Muhammad was against the ropes. 
14th round action, and we are halfway through the round. There's the headlock. Green breaks them up. Both fighters, their efforts now, the fatigue speaking for itself. WBA version of the light heavyweight title at stake. Round 14, less than a minute to go. And a tired Michael Spinks may not be able to knock out this opponent. Right there, though, he scored well. What he's trying to do now is fight and burst, get some rest, and then score heavily. More easily said than done. Vince Lombardi had the classic statement at St. Norbert's College. He used to tell his rookies in training, you've got to be in top physical condition. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. Eddie trying to jab back. Only very occasionally, though, there is no offensive arsenal left in Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. And we are in the process of rounding up round 14. We're back live, round 15 for the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. And it seems almost impossible that Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is still on his feet. But fatigue has overtaken Michael Spinks, too. After the 12th round knockdown, if ever a fighter was ready to go, it was Mustafa Muhammad. But he didn't go. And so the fight has lingered on. And it has been a punishing, a terribly punishing experience in these late rounds. And look at Spinks there. Mustafa Muhammad holding on. Richard Green, the third man in the ring, trying to break them up. Scoring on a 10-point must system by three veteran judges at ringside. Again, Richard Green breaking them up. The fighters trying, each of them, to muster a rally. But Mustafa Muhammad has not been able to rally since the eighth round, with the possible exception of the 11th round. Now he has fought with one eye beyond me. Came on from the eighth round on. Fucking late again. 
Vegas, Nevada, awaiting the decision. The easy thing to say is you can never tell what an official will do. By my precept, from the eighth round on, Michael Spinks was totally dominant with the sole exception of the 11th round, and Michael Spinks, I think, won this fight cleanly and is the new champion. And the decision, Judge, Judge Duane Ford scores 146, 148, 138, Michael Spinks. <laughs> Judge Lou Cabot scores 144, 140, Michael Spinks. Opportunity. And while in the early going, he couldn't hit with the right, he couldn't connect. And while he used the left only sparingly from the middle rounds on, he came on against a tired opponent. But an opponent to whom tribute must be given, homage must be paid. No man ever fought a more courageous fight than Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Our congratulations to both men. Maybe in terms of sheer boxing skills, this was not one of the greatest battles of all time. But under any circumstances, from the eighth round on, it became a knockdown, drag them out struggle, and it was not, as Michael Spinks had predicted, a boring fight. That young man is the second brother in the family now, raised in the ghettos of St. Louis to have become a champion. But I suspect, unlike his older brother, Leon, he will not. He will not. Let me quickly get a mic. First of all, Michael, congratulations to you. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Howard. I worked awful hard for it. I can't believe it. I came and still have no tears, but I want to cry so bad. It's a long road, Howard. I can't believe it myself. I want to tell you something. I think you owe congratulations to your opponent because yes, I, I never saw a man fight more game like Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But I, I sharpened up my tools to get out of the way of his hard shot. Uh, I did the best I could, How I worked awful hard for it. And I thank God for the victory. Well, congratulations to you. I hope you have a champion for a long, long time. Bless you. Good luck to you. Hello, hello. Oh, my oh, man. Oh, my friends. St. Louis!